All right, here we go. <laughs> Man, that's one of the best tickets I've ever had. <laughs> My name is Steven Bardo, former Flying Illini and NBA point guard turned basketball analyst. I have traveled the world through basketball, and the one thing I've found is everyone loves food and sports. Josh Cope here, who is owner and chef. That's right. But Josh, give us a little bit of the flavor and the history of, of how this came about. So, honey butter fried chicken, the happy accident, we call it. We have a business called Sunday Dinner Club where we cook small dinner parties for our friends and family. And one night we were serving fried chicken with a corn cake on the side, and the corn cake had some honey butter on it. One of our cooks, we don't know who it is, but they would be a legend if we could figure it out. They dipped the drumstick right into a vat of honey butter, took a bite, and started passing this drumstick around the kitchen and we went running out to the dining room you know saying forget the corn cake put the butter on the bird mm -hmm. and that was probably about almost eight or nine years ago and we just kind of put it in our heads me and my business partner Christine that this might be something that has legs and we decided to take it and turn it into the honey butter fried chicken in the restaurant so the fried chicken with honey butter is great the mac and cheese is probably our biggest seller it's oh, wow. pimento mac and cheese it's got cheese from Wisconsin really sharp we puree pimento peppers, which are kind of sweet, a little tangy. We sprinkle some garlicky breadcrumbs on it, and it's probably my favorite thing. The OG sandwich is an original sandwich. We call it that because when we opened, we just had a sandwich on the menu called the honey butter fried chicken sandwich, yep. and now it's kind of the original one. It has candied jalapeno mayonnaise, a crunchy slaw, and fried chicken strips on a buttery wow. bun. Wow, that's a mouth explosion it's right It's so there. good. Yeah, you that's whatever you like, first okay. of all. Okay. So these are those corn muffins. They're so delicious, these local corn. Mm -hmm. um, and this is our chicken. We're using local chicken, antibiotic-free, cage-free, humanely raised. So this is our honey butter. So that's honey and butter from a small farm. I'm gonna let you do uh, it. All right, so this is the technique. I've been working on this for, you know, five years or so. <laughs> So right. I literally take this butter and we're just gonna kind of butter it like we're buttering toast and you can just see. Oh man, okay. It, just, it went from delicious fried chicken to uh, heavenly fried chicken. <laughs> <laughs> so that's it, you can also put, feel free to put this wherever you like, you can put it right on that corn muffin. Okay. And that's it, I mean, now it's ready to be eaten. Y'all see this, how delicious this looks? I'm about to tear into this. <laughs> One cool thing about our breast pieces and thighs is that they're boneless, um, so you can just eat the whole thing. Oh, this is thing. boneless? Yeah, we buy oh. whole chickens, but we take the bone out of the breast and thighs just to make it easier to eat. All right, here we go. <laughs> Man, that's one of the best chickens I've ever had. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God. Yeah, it, it's, that's it's a real deal. Thank you so much. That's the real deal. The texture of the batter is really good, it's light not heavy, the meat itself is moist. How did you all seal in the, the juices on that? So, great chicken is the key, and then we brine it. So we take the chicken pieces, put them into a little bit of salt and a little bit of uh, citrus peel, uh -huh. a little chili flake overnight in water, and it just kind of like lets it kind of get really, keep it juicy. Oh. And then we take it, dip it in buttermilk, and then dip it in our secret flour mixture. Wow. Um, a little bit of black pepper and garlic powder. Man, listen, I'm trying to tell you, you better get up here. You will not be disappointed, I'm telling you. I even haven't even tried this yet, but I'm getting ready to. Let's try this macaroni yeah, try and cheese. try the mac and cheese, because it is. That's the, that's the one, it's my life being surrounded by this chicken and that mac and cheese. I have to go to the gym every morning just to <laughs> keep pace. Oh my God. Man, the jalapeno is not overbearing. But you can taste it. And we've got a little crumb. Yeah, it's garlic, butter, breadcrumbs on top. Oh my goodness. Yeah. It's good. Great combination here. Thank you so much.
humble as a mumbo Left up in the back, rusty Cadillac, rolling up a jumbo Going to Wow, is all I can say Great fried chicken and wonderful service I was so appreciative of Josh Colt, part owner and chef Coming out and sharing the experiences with us And how this all came about Tremendous customer service here The way that they retain their staff this beautiful outdoor patio and the old school R&B on the box, how much better can it get? This is Stephen Bartle for the latest edition of America Loves Food and Sports. Until next time, peace!